My dear readers, this author finds herself compelled to reveal a rare jewel I've uncovered. There is nothing like an excursion into nature to lift the spirits, and a stroll among the lavender is certain to uplift the senses. I've always thought an appreciation of the finer things is what elevates us as a society, and a well-chosen country retreat is just the place to begin, where the art is not the only beautiful thing on display. A promenade through the Rose Garden is a fine way to enjoy your morning, my darling debutantes, to flush your complexion with a healthy glow. Perfectly pleasant indeed. A most impressive location that isn't just presentable, it's exquisite. Yet if anyone is to reveal the secrets of this utterly enchanting location, it is I. A debutante must always take time to appreciate her surroundings, to take inspiration from the beauty of her surrounds. Hone the art of conversation over a glass of wine, truly the most civilized drink. It stirs the passions and, this author hopes, inspires most newsworthy pursuits. Explore most beautiful manners, ideal for a fete or a grand ball, suited to the finest debuts. Even the most discerning social circles are certain to approve. A breath of fresh air is a wonderful thing to take. I've always felt a bit of recreation in the crisp air to be the most resplendent way to spend an afternoon. There are few things in life more agreeable than an hour dedicated to afternoon tea, especially for seeking sage advice or sharing the day's news. Much indulgence indeed. Don't let this diamond slip through your fingers. There are many destinations to choose from, dear readers. Why settle for a duke when you can have a prince? I do wonder which ladies and gentlemen will be the very first to call. Please accept this most gracious invitation to visit the most wonderful Yarra Valley and Dandenong Ranges, for you deserve nothing less. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown.